Hello, and welcome to Glen ZB TV for Thursday, the show that puts Glen ZB into your virtual headset. Yes, I'm bringing New Zealand to the world, and the world <laughs> to New Zealand. And this, uh, the TPP, it's got out of hand. Um, this is what it is now. It's the CP TPP. Which just really sounds like you, you, you're making it up as you go along. Do, does anybody know what any of these letters stand for? Really? Was it China? Maybe Canada? Which, which letter I suppose it stands for Japan? Which one for Mexico? It's been, that's been ratified by Japan, Canada, Mexico. Too many letters, too many letters, too many letters. Wellington, um, I think you need to have a good hard look at yourself, to be perfectly honest. Now that um, the, uh, the, the Duke and Duchess of whatever they are, a thing of, which is not a real thing, obviously, because it's all just made up bullshit. And now that they've left, uh, we're, 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 it's been decided that Wellington had the, quote, worst case of royal fever. Uh, our royal reporter said that fans at the Capitol were hysterically screaming for the couple. But it was hard to tell when the royals arrived at Auckland's viaduct because the crowd was so quiet. It's written as though that's a bad look for Auckland, but really... Wellington, you need to get out more, I think, is what we learned from that. Uh, the, the bloke who's been allowed to be a resident, even though he sounds like he's a nasty piece of Czechoslovakian work... What? I just can't get... Past the fact that his name is either Carol or Jan. Jan or Carol. I've known a few Jans and a few Carols in my time. As far as best of my knowledge, none of them have been Czechoslovakian drug smugglers. So I just can't get my head around it. It's odd. It's odd. Well, we're rattling through them today. The Environmental Protection Authority. I didn't even know we had one of those. Uh, I know that they have a, an environmental protection agency in the in America, the EPA. But I, so it's quite cool that we've got an EPA here as well. Uh, it's looking at whether we need to put new rules around the use of products containing uh, synthetic pyrethroids. Um, these are the things in uh, fly sprays, insect repellents, insect re dispensers, you know, bed bug treatments. Flea collars, flea treatments. It's the chemicals that kill the insects. Because apparently, uh, there might be risks to children from accidental exposure, especially to flea collars, or if the carpet's been treated with some kind of flea treatment. Uh, apparently, if people are exposed to that, they might get some of the poison on them. Because apparently it's poison. The stuff that kills things is poisonous. It's worth it. Let's be honest. Because sometimes the samurai wasp comes. He came yesterday in this show. He's here again today. If, it, if we get a little bit of poison on our kids' fingers to get rid of him gotta be worth it i am glenn zb thank you so much for having me in your virtual headset see you back here again tomorrow for more